What I have here is two shoes, okay? One of them is a brand new shoe, and one of them has been worn for about 200 miles. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can tell if your shoes are broken down and they need to be replaced. And we've done this test hundreds of times in Helux, and it is very, very accurate and super easy to do. Now, when uh, you look at the graphs of where the pressures are on, a, on the bottom of our feet, most of the pressure is gonna be in the ball of the foot. And the nice thing about this area is whether you're a heel striker or a forefoot striker, everybody's going to put pressure on the ball of the foot and break down the cushioning there. So what happens though is that it's really tough to tell how much cushioning is breaking down because it's on the inside part of the shoe. You can't really see it. So we came up with a touch test or push test that's going to make it really easy for you to figure out if your shoes need to be replaced because the cushioning is getting old. So what you're going to do is you're going to go right in the middle of the shoe, right where the ball of the foot would be, and you're going to push into that foam. Now, if that foam is starting to feel soft, okay, it's going to be time to replace it. But how do you know if it's really feeling soft, or just if the shoe was soft to begin with? That's when the new shoe comes into play. So what I like people to do is go ahead and push down on that same area on the new shoe and compare it to what they feel on the used shoe. Now, generally, we like to um, measure the shoes a lot, frankly, and we see that when the shoe loses about 20% of its cushioning, that's when you can start to feel that difference with your own hands, comparing the new shoe to a used shoe. And that usually relates to a 20% cushioning loss, which is a pretty good amount. That's when you would start to change the impact going on through your body. So what I like to recommend people do, and running shoe store owners, this is what I want you to promote, is I like when people bring their used shoes into the running store, grab a, the same shoe off the shelf, and then they go ahead and push the used shoe, and they push the new shoe. When they can start to feel a difference, that's when it's gonna be time to replace your shoes. So no more guessing, no more being like, well, is it three months, or is it six months, or is it 300 miles or 500 miles? This is gonna be relative to each individual runner, regardless of if you're heavy or light, if you're fast or slow, this is how you can tell that the foam cushioning is breaking down. It's a really simple way to test it, and I know this is something that every runner could utilize because we've been asked tons of times, how do I know when to replace my shoes? So use this information, go visit your running store, try and compare your used shoes to your new shoes, and if you guys have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below, or go ahead and track me down over on helux.com. Again, we're gonna have a link right below in the comment section here. Again, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Allen Gray from Helux. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Enjoy all this information, and I hope to see more of you guys soon.